Trains! 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 I love trains. Ah. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Create series with me, ZF. And today, oh boy, oh boy, this is going to be a good one. We are going trains, planes, and that's it. That those two things are going to get conquered today. It's going to be a pretty good one, and we can start off by seeing all these wonderful things moving around that Tango and Krollis have been doing. Is this even safe? Okay, okay, uh, okay. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, don't get clipped, though, by it. Piggy, I'm surprised you're still alive. We have working trains, and I want to get in on the action, too. Now, this one has been doing cobblestone over to Tango's um, main factory here. As you can see, it's, uh, it's flooding on in, um, but what I want to do is I want to make a train for little old me. Yep, I want to be the cargo. I want to connect up to this main rail line. It's going to expand all through the factory and hopefully to many other places. Now, you see Corrales' place up here. He's got some trains up there in his little train yard, but he doesn't yet have, as far as I'm aware, a way to get them down yet. He does have this amazing thing, which if you've not seen his episode, you should totally go check it out. It's awesome. We might ride it real soon, but he's kind of got the same problem I've got. He lives up on a hill. I live up on a hill. That lives down off a hill. How do you do it? Now, these big old train tracks, they can actually go uphill. If we place one down um, and select another one, you can kind of like select the route. And if we head on uphill here, we should see, hopefully, yeah, there we go. Look, it's going green and we can even place it. So that's quite a slope. Can I walk upon it? I can't walk upon it. I'm a ghost. Okay, I must be dead. Um, well, I did just get run over by a train. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. So this is, I think, at like 45 degree angles. Maybe even not that steep, you know. No, that looks about 45 to me. But my mountain that I live on up here is way steeper than 45 degrees. And we don't want to have this big old like bridge thing going down or whatever. There's going to be a better way. A way that involves not going up the mountain, but going into the mountain. Which is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to take the rail and snake it round, do whatever we need to do and get it to here. And then we will go onwards and we will go even onwards here. Oh, I, I was not expecting that. Okay. <laughs> Can this go flat? No, go flat, please. Okay, so we're going to actually have it go into the side of the mountain like this. And it's just going to keep on going and going and going that's right we are gonna extend a tunnel very nice and big that's how you go through a mountain we just connect this up and da -da 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 -dun, we have a tunneling boring machine that's actually very very interesting so we can continue on the rails by clickety doo da and placing them down over here somewhere like a so and with that we have a beautiful horizontal tunnel dug out don't worry we'll be making this uh, a lot more fun if you have any ideas actually on how to uh, make this tunnel very creative so to speak um some fun things that can happen as the train goes backwards and forwards through it do let me know i'd be very interested to hear your thoughts in the comments but our base isn't down here it's way up there the horizontal's covered but what about the vertical the answer's simple we just don't worry about that either. Yeah, that's that's how we're solving these problems now. <laughs> we're pushing them to the back of the queue and no one has to worry. So underneath all of this now is actually going to be a big old hole. Look at this. You can see everything, all the guts and gizmos and all stuff that makes everything run. It's actually really pretty to see from the underside. But I've dug this massive hole down that connects up with our tunnel. Um, and this will be where our station is down below. And obviously we'll need a very, very fun way of um, getting the vertical distance fixed and getting all the way back up there. But do not fear, I have plenty of ideas. This is the create mod after all, where transportation and movement of people and blocks and everything is far from limited. But for now, trains, we're in train mode. So um, let's work out how our train would come in here on the one rail and we need it to turn around and then leave again, right? We're only having this one. We're not gonna make two rails, one in, one out. So if I click like this, how does this work? What's the like the earliest turning circle I can do? Oh, in fact, this shows it on the floor. See these like red blocks and then some green ones here? This shows you exactly like this is red, this is green, this is red, this is green. So I think this is the sharpest turn we could do, which is not very sharp at all. Um, because then if I go from that one, oh boy. Okay, we're going to have to do even more digging. Are you kidding me? Have you seen the amount of digging we've been doing? Wee! I did it. Okay, yes, I did more digging. It's fine. We can go all the way around now and around the other side too. And you know what? We're actually going to connect these up. Have we got more? We have. 
We can connect these in a lovely straight line as well, like so, just in case you want to go round and round a few times, why ever not? Lovely. Now, you might be thinking, plenty of train tracks, Zed, but what about the train? Well, this moment, I have been training for my entire life. It, 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 that was a train joke. Yes, indeed, I present to you the Mighty Steamer. My Mighty Steamer, this steam engine has got everything. Look at it, it's all like steampunky. I wanted to try and make it match the uh, the cube base up above as well. I think it looks pretty good. This was uh, Dot has designed this Mighty Steamer. I named it, she designed it. <laughs> and I tell you what, it's got all the bells and whistles on it. Literally, it's got bells. And uh, it's also, you might have seen it, huh? got whistles too. It's very, very nice. Got a little light on the front there. We've got a, uh, obviously the train bit at the front, the engine part. And then back here, we have um, a passenger, passenger lounge. This is probably where I'll be hanging out most of the time. Just chilling, just re re relaxing in the back of the train. Maybe there'll be like a little um, food cart or something that comes by. Oh, we should totally see if we could put cake, like physical cake on the train that you could eat. I don't know. I don't know. Cause uh, this thing is obviously drivable. So all of these blocks, not all of the blocks, I should say, oh, that's scary, are actually um, movable. We can sit here, we can click the controls and we can drive around. Look, the doors all close as well. Oh my goodness, it's a little bit tight. You can't really see how see how very well. It's a bit, it's a little bit nausea inducing. Which is why I think it's time we release the mighty steamer out into the big wide world and connect it up to the factory over there. Which should just be a case of clicking some track, uh, wiggling it around down the hill and stuff. Is this is this where it has to go? Literally, it has to go right through a tree. Okay, so we're gonna have to clean up trees and things as we go and just work out. A, a wiggly little route. So click you again and uh, through here, I guess. Oh, you can go quite a long way. This is good. Okay, click. Oh, there's so many trees in the way. There we have it connected up. Not particularly very well. I think I've messed some signaling up, but it is connected. Nonetheless, let's give the mighty steamer its maiden voyage. Head on down here. I hear a zombie. Uh, the wheels have gone. Is this a hover train now? Fixed it, rewheeled it, we could take this thing for a drive. Okay, out we go out the tunnel. Okay, <laughs> oh, through the trees. Okay, ow, ow, they hurt a lot. Lots of things hurt, but it's okay. Oh, it's going really quick. We need to slow this thing down. Oh, can we see me in there even? Oh, not really very well. <laughs> okay, up we go. We don't want to have any crashes here. Very nice, very nice. Hello, station and factory. Oh, this is the way to move around. Oh, except when trees smash you in the face. Okay, no pain, no gain is what they say. Look at it go. Oh, the mighty steamer is really, is really looking, looking magnificent. And then we head this way. Perfect. Okay, let's take it on home <laughs> and park this baby up. Ow, oh, the trees first. All the trees hurt. And we hold space and it should park us up real nicely. Boop. Arrived at Z Station. Look at that. Yes, yes, yes. Love it. Ah! Move out <laughs> the way! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Coming through! Holy cow! Dude! <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, you know, all the trains, they don't go this way, they all go that way. So I thought these were safe tracks. My train goes this way. Hi, b Oh. <laughs> Okay. Are you okay? Dude, this is it's gorgeous. <laughs> I had a slight heart attack, but it's beautiful. Thank you, man. This is this is the Mighty Steamer, is is what its name is. Um, the Mighty Steamer. Yeah, it's a big old steamer, I'll tell you. You have seen or have not seen, I built the uh tall red building. Tall red that building. You requested. I, I yes. literally requested exactly that, and you have delivered this thing. Yes. Yes, and we will be making no, get him out of that, my face! No, 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 of course not. No, disgusting, Honey. disgusting. <laughs> Honeyed apples, yes. I put Z on it for you. Where's your, where's your so B? So everybody knows, yeah, who the king is. And then, uh, inside, you know, you, you, you can do whatever you want in here. It may need a little... I, you know how hard it is to get bricks? <laughs> I, I'm assuming very hard. It's very hard. I, we have no villager brick system. This is 15 stacks of bricks. You, you needed a bunch of clay? Yes. I've been throwing clay away. 
Stop it! Don't! I, I, I'm probably throwing about 50 stacks of clay away. Okay, I'll throw them in your Why? direction from now on. I didn't Why? need a brick! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, yes, yes, we need all that clay. Oh, this is the windows, man. The wi This is like a church or a cathedral or something. Yes, slash factory. Slash factory. <laughs> yes. It's so, so nice. Yeah, so I thought I'd leave. I mean, you know, you can do interior if you want. You don't have to. But, uh, but with this one, you know, there's the door on the outside that leads up to that door up there. So I thought maybe oh. have like a walk around area around. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Up, I like it. Up above so you can kind of monitor down on the bees and, and whatnot. So hold on. This, this, I need to go test that door out. Hold on. Stay there. Okay. So we go up. Yeah. Up the stairs. Yeah. Do, 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 climbing. So there are some aesthetic <laughs> uh, choices that I made that might not lead to such great function. Ha! Such a, yeah. 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 Such as that one. Yeah. Most importantly now, though, is, and I, oh, you, this is already happening. You I'm, hooked this up. I did a, I did a thing. That is a lot of honey, too, because if this thing's full, that's like a lifetime supply. It, it's half a million miller buckets of honey right there. Yeah, yeah. Plus that's there's these, these little side tanks as well, which which you could totally also fill up with, with reserve honey, backup honey. Exactly, <sighs> exactly, yes, <sighs> yes. <sighs> oh, beat ups, things are going, things are happening. The difficult part now is um, the hookup. Have you thought of that? I've given it no thought whatsoever. <laughs> oh, blast! <laughs> uh, well, I'll tell you what, we'll sleep, we'll have a think. Maybe, maybe we yeah. can figure something out right here, right now. Okay, B-dubs, I see a machine over there. Walk us through the master oh, right. of, of mechanics. Yes, so I've only done a few things here. You've done most of it, but the apples will come this way, and I put this filter on, uh, this thing <laughs> which, which filters apples and will suck apples over to here to this depot uh then un, un honey blocks will come straight through and then a honey filter will suck it up put it in this chest poop it back out of a chest again oh there's a belt that's wrong down here they they poop out on the belt go along go into basin melt melty melty liquid up other words down honeyed apples Oh boy, okay, that was an absolute mess. Um, it's a little bit later now. Um, apparently, two two geniuses like that counteract each other when it comes to making um, anything work. But uh, we have still got a functioning thing now. It's uh, slightly edited. This is a bit later now. Um, but this thing can make honeyed apples. And we'll, we'll chuck a few apples in. Apple, 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 apple. Honey block, honey block, like so. And you'll see, oh, it's doing. Go on. Do another squirt of honey. Oh, it's probably got to, like, melt some stuff down and that as well. I've probably got to put more fuel in, actually. This thing is so manual. It's unreal. Let's do some oak slabs. There you go. Get nice and hot. Do a mixy-mixy. We forgot about the mixy-mixier. And, uh, oh, there's some... Oh, mmm. <laughs> Literally debris floating in the honey. It's fine. It all adds to the flavor. You see the honeyed apples getting squeezed on over there. And we can come on round, clear up some adventure slots, and we can go, yes, yum... Yum, yum. What a delicious, tasty snack. BZ, B, easy peasy, BZ, lemon squeezy, but they're apples. Factory complete. Um, all that's left to do now is uh, let Tango clear up all of this by basically removing it and then starting from scratch. Tango, you're more than welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Nuke the thing, please. And as we fly on home, we'll go from something very, very bad to something very, very good. I am incredibly excited uh, to show you this. Hi oh, I'm crashing into cogs a little bit there. So um, we have, as you can see on my back, an elytra on, right? And we've known this from day one that elytras, they're not, they're not very create. They're not, they don't fit into the normal create world with all this steampunkery and and, you know, uh, moving things, mining drills and sails and all of this stuff. Um, and I, this was bugging me. It was bugging me a lot. And um, so I had some help from some very wonderful people who have helped to turn, um, make something brand new, something pig. There's a pig there. Something, thank you, pig. Uh, something very, very inspired by Leonardo da Vinci himself this is this is something really really cool l let me show you let me introduce to you a brand new recipe a brand new item even though it's sort of just a retextured elytra that we now have in the game you might not recognize this particular recipe 
Um, but I'll show you right here. Bam! An ornithopter. I think that's how it's said. Look at this! It's so, so cool. And this is how you craft it now. No longer do you have to go to the end. That doesn't make sense. You make it out of sails and gears and cogs and things like that. Precision mechanisms. This thing is a precise beast with obviously brass nuggets as well. These are the ultimate glider wings. And all I have to do is put one final precision mechanism in the middle there. And it should craft. Oh, I've only got too many slots, haven't I? I've got to put some of these... Uh, these crafter co slot covers into the spare places. So here, 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 bing, bong, ding, over there, over there. And now, oh, now the magic's happening. Look at it go. Make me some wings. Oh, yes. And ba 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 boom. It turns into a wonderful ornithopter. Now, along with all these wonderful people over here on the right hand side who have made this possible, thank you all so very, very much. You will see. A little old me, hello, I'm in the middle here, and now I've got this snazzy backpack on. Yeah, when you're wearing an elytra, or an ornithopter now, this is it. It's all packaged up in a nice little kind of backpack-like thing. Um, it's very, very nice. You could see me wearing it right here, right now. Look at it. Look at it. It fits so snugly. <laughs> but then as soon as you go to fly, if we head over to the cliff, or better yet, what? No, let's not go to the cliff when we have a, a launcher doodad right here. Are you ready? We go, oh, it breaks sometimes. Okay, it's fine. We go here. It breaks all the time, apparently. We go here. Oh, come on. There it goes. We get launched up and we activate the wings. Look at this thing. How cool is this? It's a proper glider hand glider thingy. The wings flap up and down. The little tail goes like in the direction you're going in. You're properly like lying down and stuff. It is incredible. This is me from a front angle as well. I'm holding on for dear life. <laughs> it is so, so good. Oh, this create needed this. To be honest, normal Minecraft needs this as well. This is an awesome handmade glider. And then as soon as you land, oh, it's going to be a rough landing. Hodja! It just packages nice and neatly up into a lovely little snug backpack. How cool is that? I know, I know, right? And what we got to do now, obviously, is share this with the other guys. They're going to absolutely love this thing. Okay, everybody, I see you all have your backpacks strapped on tightly. We do. Yes. We do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, prepare to be excited. amazed, fellas. So, yeah, we've, we've had elytras now, right? And we all know they're not very yeah. creative. They're a bit... Mm. No, nope. yeah. no, nope. <laughs> they are... <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so I decided to call up Da Vinci himself and um, have him make us a little something something. So, uh, yeah, I, I guess I'll just I'll just show you here. Check, check this out. Ready? I'm going to jump off the cliff and prepare oh. to be amazed. You're not wearing Elytra, though. Hey, ho! <gasps> oh! Oh! It flappeth! Dude! Look at it, guys! You kidding? <laughs> Look at that. Okay. <laughs> I love being upstairs. Hold on, I gotta sleep. He's like, gotta yeah, sleep yeah, yeah, first. Nice and everything, but yeah, I gotta go to bed. <laughs> hey, have a go, guys. Fly around. I need to. Okay, I want to see I it too. Fly. Hold on, okay. I'm in the right cam mode here. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah. oh, it's flapping, man. It's at it. Oh, this it's is a glider. Cool. Oh, oh, my guy's hanging on like a little thing. There's like a shelf he's on or something. Yeah, it's, like, yeah. Oh, it's wow. a proper... So oh. this is pronounced an ornithopter, I believe, is the proper... Oh, that's amazing. ...pronunciation. Oh, when I turn the this tail is... flips and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I have chicken. Oh, uh, that's going to be happy. The first ornithopter chicken clockificator. Go. Here I go. Oh, oh, it laid an egg! Oh, it's working! <laughs> he, he's the proudest of all proud chickens right now! Look at him go! <laughs> there he is! <laughs> well, yes, this is this is my gift to you guys. Um, oh, a lovely Zed, little order to What a joy. Gift. <laughs> this makes Aww. everything better. Now I have no guilt using my Elijah. But that is going to be it for today's episode, everyone. Thank you so, so very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. It's all very, very much appreciated. And of course, a massive, beautiful thank you to my wonderful patrons whose names are all over the screen right now. Each of these people have helped to support me, support the channel, and made episodes just like this possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love all your faces. Until the next episode, a good...
Uh, bye. Uh, the light trap. I mean, uh, all the top. Uh, oh, it disappears really quick. <laughs>